Hello, this is Dr. Z. James. This is my micro video lesson, my revised lesson. It's warm up section, and the activity is a story starter. And we're using the fictional story, The Vet, by Anton Chekhov. It's a reading, writing, and grammar lesson plan. Good morning, everyone. Our warm up activity today is each student will practice giving a story starter. Our story is a fictional story by Antoine Chekhov. Please use your Chromebooks and go to the website shown below, shown below to read the story. You are working on developing and reading and writing fluency during this activity because you will need to read and write quickly as you continue your education and when you get into the workforce. The, starter, the story starter is when you, the student, quickly scan our story, the bet, which is the fiction short story. You will imagine that you are one of the characters in the story, the lawyer or the banker. Then you will start to tell a new story. There are six students in this class and each student will have four to five minutes to write down a story starter. You will have from five to eight minutes to scan the story uh, before you write a story starter. And when the time is up, the, uh, each student will have four to five minutes to write down a story starter, sorry. And when the time is up, the student will pass his or her paper to the student next to them. Then that person will read the other person's uh, starter and continue the story. When each student has finished, each writer will receive their uh, story back. We will share at least three student story starter on the board, and we will all read them. You are learning as well as having fun at the same time. Okay. Our time is up for scanning, reading, and writing. So let's look at three of the story starter and see how everybody made out starting a new story. Taking the same story, but putting their own uh, kick to it. Okay, let's look at Jimmy. Jimmy said, there was a baker, banker, who gave a party for many of his friends. The banker is rich, arrogant. The banker and his friends debated about the effects of the death penalty and long-term isolation on a prisoner. Some friends said the death penalty was immoral. Others said both the death penalties and isolations are immoral. And moral. That's real good, uh, Jimmy. You uh, gave some specifics. It was detailed. It was logical. And I like the part where you talked about the banker is rich and arrogant. Very good. Very good. Let's look at another story starter. Shirley. Okay, Shirley wrote about the young lawyer. There was a young lawyer at the party, and he said he liked isolation rather than the death penalty. The banker bet the lawyer $2 million to stay in the isolation for 15 years. The banker did not believe the lawyer would stay locked up in isolation for that length of time. In fact, the banker made fun of the lawyer. Mm, interesting, Shirley. 
Uh, I like what you're saying. You, you dealt with persons, feelings, emotions. Very good, very good. Okay, we have one more. Brian. Now Brian wrote, the banker is rich, is rich when he made the bet, but his riches were depleted because of bad investments and his reckless behavior, drinking and gambling. During his isolation, the lawyer learned about life experiences through reading all kinds of books, and the lawyer rejected the $2 million. He left a letter on the table in the shed telling of his experience. The banker hid the letter so no one would see how the lawyer was the actual winner of the bet because he benefited from the isolation. He acquired wisdom and knowledge. Excellent, excellent, very good. And I like the idea you talked about the bad investments, the reckless behavior, and also how the, uh, the banker did not want anyone to see that the lawyer gained experience and he traveled through books. He did real well. That's very good. Very good. I think everyone had a good um, starter. Story starter. Very good. Okay, for the remainder to do uh, this uh, lesson, I'm asking you to write a short paragraph and answer the questions showed below. Use your Chromebooks and go to Schoolology to write your paragraph and I will grade your work there. The question is, tell how you think the lawyer's 15 year imprisonment in the cabinet affected the banker. Be specific and cite details from the story. Thank you, Dr. Z.